Good morning, you guys. I have a few things I need to do today. First being, I need to go to Target to get some groceries and I need to get a gift bag for Stella. Her birthday is coming up this weekend. I already got her gift, but I need to get a gift bag and then I need to wrap that and I need to get gifts for the kids' teachers because it's teacher appreciation week and then Grayson's is the following week. So if I find something I like for his teachers, I'll get those today too. He has a lot of teachers though. He has speech, OT, he has his BT, and his actual preschool teachers, which there's two or three of those. So I'm um, gonna try and find something for all of those as well. Um, but haven't really decided on what I'm gonna get for the girls yet either. So we'll see if Target has anything and then I'm gonna make those with you guys on camera. Um, and then there's a crock pot meal that I wanna make for dinner tonight, so I'll make that with you guys too. So let's head to Target first. I went to Starbucks before I came to Target and I literally chugged this coffee. I normally never get a venti, but I've been drinking the same exact drink I normally get, but using a straw to mix the salted caramel cold foam into the coffee like really well. And it tastes so much better, you guys. If you get this drink, trust me, don't sip it out of the lid like I used to do. Get the straw and mix it up. It's like an entirely new drink and it tastes way better. I literally chugged it in like three minutes and then I got the breakfast burrito, which I've only eaten half of it. Not really that hungry, so I'm gonna eat that later, but we just got to Target, so let's go. Okay, this is what I found so far. I found these little baskets in the dollar section. They were $5 each. So I got one for each of Bailey and Shay's teacher. I ordered these cute little printables for the baskets. So I'm kind of trying to go with that color scheme. I found these really inexpensive candles to add in each of them. And then I'm gonna split up these pens, take them out of the package and then put two of each in the basket. I thought this ribbon was really pretty. And then just some like things to make the basket look cute and I think I'm gonna get a gift card for each of them and maybe a few other things. Okay, I made it out of Target with a full cart, never fails, but there was a lot of groceries that we were out of too. But I think I got everything for the teacher basket so I'll show you guys those when we get home. packed up the trunk with everything from Target. Now I need to head to the UPS store to print out those printables for the teacher appreciation baskets. And then we'll go home, put everything away, prep dinner, wash produce, prep all that for the week. And then I'll show you guys how I make the teacher appreciation baskets. And then I also got each of the girls these cute pink and cream striped dresses for summer, but I mainly got like another coordinating outfit for all the kids for church. How cute is this denim dress? And then I got this little pink top to go underneath it. And then this little polo, it's like a denim polo with palm trees on it for Grayson so that they can all coordinate for church. They're always needing new church clothes, so. I thought that was cute. And then I just picked up a t-shirt for Bailey and Shay. They're always needing more shirts for school too. And I thought this one with the strawberry was really cute. And it was $8. Okay, before I put all of our groceries away, I'm just gonna do like a quick wipe down of the shelves cause they're kind of dirty. So I'm gonna take everything out, wipe it down, and then I'll put all the groceries away. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song, clever. Feeling high. Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine, but I 
I'm curious how often you guys deep clean your fridge. I'm not doing a deep clean here, I'm just quickly wiping down the shelves. I try to do this every time we get groceries, but it doesn't always happen. Those fruit cups we've had for a little bit. I bought them mainly for Grayson because I asked his teachers at school which foods that he eats there and she said that he loves the pear and peach fruit cups so I got them to have at home and he will not touch them here. <laughs> I keep offering them to him but he's just not interested for some reason. He's a pretty picky eater and sticks the same things over and over, which is pretty common for kids with autism. But I'm just struggling to get him to eat more fruit and vegetables, but at least he eats them at school, I guess. Wait a second, I don't need you. Then why so settled, I miss with you. Still it feels just like I'm waiting for Something better Wait a second I wanna stay up late With my heart in your head Maybe stay too much Cause you don't understand You got me All of the acrylic organizers you see in this video are linked in my Amazon storefront in the description box. I literally have them all throughout our house. I really love how organized they keep everything and they just make everything look so much nicer and so much easier for the kids to access things. I feel different, like I'm brand new, less ignoring, still it feels just like I'm waiting for something better, wait a second. Okay, now I'm going to clean out this drawer and like vacuum up in here to put the chips and the veggie straws away. What are some of your kids' go-to snacks? We desperately need some new ideas around here. 
I normally just replace my same order from Walmart over and over because we normally buy our groceries online and have it delivered. I rarely shop in store, so when I was at Target today, I was so overwhelmed by everything. Okay, now moving on to washing our produce. I'm just using a splash of Thieves and I'm gonna let it soak for a little bit. Okay, I just washed all of the mason jars that I'm gonna use and the produce. And now I'm gonna cut it up and put it into these and hopefully it'll help make our produce last longer. A lot of you guys recommended mason jars to keep your produce fresh for longer. So we'll see if this works. Maybe I'm just afraid of being alone. Well, I don't care cause right now I feel the love that we said we would burn. I had a couple of mason jars, but they were kind of small, so I found these at Target, and they're the perfect size to store produce, but they only sell them in packs of 12 or more. So now I have a ton of mason jars, but I was scrolling TikTok last night, and I went down the rabbit hole of making your own strawberry matcha and ordered everything to make that at home, so maybe I'll just use these jars to drink my matcha out of. Okay, since it's already two o'clock, I'm gonna get started on dinner. This is what I'm gonna make in the crock pot. So I'm gonna start throwing that in right now. Okay, this recipe was a huge hit. It was probably one of my favorite things that I've made in years, which isn't really saying a lot because Adam is the one that does most of the cooking around here, but this was one of the best things I've had in a really long time. And it was literally made in the crock pot. So definitely gonna be making this again soon. Okay, that was so easy. You just make the sauce in the slow cooker and then you put the chicken breast in the sauce and cook it on low for three to five hours, which is perfect. And then you serve it with fresh basil and pasta. Okay, this is everything that I have for the teacher appreciation baskets. I found these printables I showed you and I can link them for you guys and I had them printed out. So I'm probably gonna cut like a couple of these. I'm not gonna use all of them. And then hot glue them to a little stick to put in the baskets. These ones are really cute too. And then this is everything I found for the basket. So I'm gonna do one of these lotions, split up these pens, an eye mask, a little candle, and gift cards.
Okay, here is how the baskets turned out. Really cute, really simple, inexpensive. So the girls are taken care of. Um, I still have until next week to make Grayson. So I'll probably make those in a future vlog if you guys wanna see that. Okay, the crock pot recipe is done. Just checking on the chicken, it's supposed to be at 165. So it's done. Now I'm gonna add some fresh basil. Stir it up and then I'm gonna make the noodles and we'll serve it over noodles for dinner. Okay, that recipe was a 10 out of 10. We all loved it. If you like spicy food, try adding red pepper flakes on top after it's done and served. So good. Definitely gonna be making that again soon. It's definitely gonna be in the rotation for sure. The kids loved it too. Grayson and Tatum had a hot dog because I didn't think that they would like it. But Bailey and Shay loved it. So I'll have that recipe linked down below, but I think I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.